Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and an unboxing of an AMT's pretty popular kit from what I'm finding out here. It's the uh, Christine kit at 125th. A uh, buddy of mine, uh, Scott, up at, up at work, he calls or he texted me and said, you interested? I said, yeah. <laughs> so he picked it up for me, found it at Goodwill. So I'm not even sure if all the parts are in this thing. I looked at the instructions online and uh, downloaded them, and I kind of was going over them the day before I went to pick this up, and it looks like a pretty dang fun kit to build. So I've never seen the movie. I'll probably see the movie sometime over the weekend or next week, but we're shooting from the hip here, guys. <laughs> uh, like I said, this was picked up at Goodwill. It was an open box, so... Let's hope we got everything in here. Uh, it kind of looks pretty promising right off the rip. But, uh, so we're going to open this up, starting with the decals, because they're right on top. And I'm curious, because again, like I said, I never saw the movie, so I don't know um, what I should expect here. Okay. Okay. So we have a couple of what I think are California plates, because I don't have my visor on. I can't even read them. Uh, Christine, she's a killer. Some pretty cool decals. Uh, looks like we got gauge decals on here. Mighty small ones, so we'll see. Um, not sure if I'll use any of these, because I'm not going to build it as the uh, show car. Five bags of styrene. Four tires. And the box is empty. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move that part of the box out of the way so we can check all these out. Well, let's start cutting into them. Always check your bag. Make sure there's no extra parts. But right off the punch, we got the engine. Move these out of here so we can see. And I'll grab my finger. But we got the engine. A little bit of flash, but it looks like the flash is just on the sprue and not on the parts. Boy, these are nice. I'm going to lose the finger here, and I'm going to draw you in. There we go. Everybody can see now. Look at that engine. Nicely detailed, clean. But look, we got good engine and transmission set up. Our... Exhaust manifolds, nice heads. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's not 12 of them like in the one build we did. <laughs> Our uh, oil pan, transmission pan. I'm not sure. I'm not even going to start naming all the parts, but we're going to take a good look at them. We got our dashboard over here. Nice detail on the dash. Real nice. Cleanly done, too. Look at a gas pedal on here. Our brake. I like it. I like it a lot. Our firewall's got some detail on it. We can work with that. Beautiful fan belt. Beautiful fan belt, fan blade. Nice fan. Or uh, Let's start that over. Nice fan belts and alternator belt. Looks good, clean, crisp. Everything looks good. Geez, I don't know what half of these I'm looking at here. Not sure what that is. But it all looks really clean. You know, got a little bit, little bit of flash down here. I can, I can deal with that. Shoot, this kit's probably been around for a little while. But really nice. Looks good. Pull you back just a smidge so we get the whole sprue Looks good. And next on the desk. We have with our steering wheel, exhaust, and suspension. These look like our valve covers, which they are. Some skirts. Nicely done. I was looking at them this way and going, ah, that's kind of crappy, but no, they're nicely done. <laughs> Leaf springs. Decent detail. Steering wheel. Just a little bit of flash, but we can deal with that. And our exhaust looks really good. So, steering column at least has the uh, turn signal on it. I think this car 
if I'm not mistaken, was push button transmission. But we'll have to we'll have to dig into that as we start building it and I start learning more and more about the car. Um white walls? <laughs> I guess. Not sure. Not even sure how those would work with the tires, but we'll oh. I bet you the tires are, yep. The tires are grooved for the white walls. Well, let's pull this out right now. Yeah, the tires got deep grooves for those white walls in there. Solid rubber tire. Um, not too bad. I will be sanding these a little bit because they're, uh, they do have a mold line on the edge right here. Uh, we'll sand those down and then we'll come back with the pastels like I do. And, uh, Set those up. These are BF Goodrich tires. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we are going to do the uh, uh, white walls on there. A little rough. That's, I, that's what I kind of stopped. They're kind of a little rough. But we'll see what they look like while they're on the tire. I bet you that'll make a big difference. Here's our door panels, which is huge. Jeez, it looks like an airplane wing. Wow, is there good detail in this. Bring this up here to you. Nice detail. Everything's high and, and proud, so we can come in here with our gel pens and our Molotov pens and maybe some bare metal foil. Um, not sure if this is supposed to be pleated, aluminum, or what, but I'm sure this area here, the high mics are chrome. And we'll decide what we're going to do with that. Good seats, good texture. This is molded in like a uh, tan, real, real light tan color, not white. So it's showing up very well. Good speakers. I like it. Our bumper or rear end and uh, uh, front, what do they call them, clips, I guess. Sharp. Next bag. This is a pretty cool kit. Not sure when I'm gonna get around to building it, but we got it in the in the box in this pile. Nothing in the bag. Chuck in the bag. Now I'm seeing quite a bit of flash here, but again, it's not, it's not where it's necessary or worried about. Our seat. This probably is the uh, look at it. It's a 60/40 seat. <laughs> a little mold line right here, but we can sand that out and it'll disappear. But very nice. 60-40 seat back, so this must be the front seat. Got an ashtray in there for all of us old smokers. I haven't smoked in 40 years, so... Jeez, look at that hood. That dang hood looks almost like a freaking uh, hand glider. <laughs> Our front suspension... Looks like our horn and a hood latch and some more suspension. Very nicely done. This has a separate frame. Geez, I haven't done a kit with a separate frame in a long time. Nice. A little bit of flash going on in the back. But geez, oh Pete, everybody's worried about flash. You can come in here with your knife and just knock that out quick, fast, and in a hurry. A little bit of time. It just drags. Look at it. Most of it came off just now with my fingernail. But it's done well. It doesn't look twisted. It seems like it's flat. If there is any twist in this, it wouldn't be hard to straighten out. I'm sure the body will straighten it out or the, the uh, interior will. Back in a box. Our rear end looks good. That's a good looking drive shaft. Gee whiz, a lot of times those come and they're just garbage. That looks good. Very good. Nice looking shocks, big enough to where I might even be able to paint them and look them good. Our uh, back exhaust kind of opened up just a little bit, which I like because then I can get my drill in there and come in at an angle and make it look like that goes hollow all the way through. So perfect. Very cool. We got our wheel backs. Oh, look at the, the intake manifold on that. That is sharp. Our water pump, I imagine. 
Very, very nice. This is a single carb, two piece carburetor. Nice detail. We can detail that up. I guarantee you with this one, we're going to have to do lights just because of the way the uh, um, picture is and all the pictures I've ever seen. Good spindles. Nice detail on those. Looks like they're turnable. Um, we'll see. We got a bag of chrome. Coming up next. There's some good parts in here. See there? Always check. What do we got here? We almost lost our windshield wipers. One of them is kind of broke. We're going to try to keep that on the sprue. And I'll glue that back up. But see, that was just hanging out here. Um, looks like it went right there somehow. And uh, I bet you that got mis um, molded, And they just chucked this one in there. So you, so you had them. Because that looks like it was supposed to go there. So in the box with those. Good golly, that's a big bumper. <laughs> Look at that. Chrome goes around the side for a half a mile. <laughs> nice grill. It is a closed grill, so we're not going to put the lights, that green hazy light that's in the picture over here. I'm not going to be doing that. But I do want to light high and low beams in this. Um, this chrome looks a little bright. I'll probably hit it with a quick shine just to dull it down a little bit. Um, on most of it. Look at we got, check this out. Our radio is separate. Our dash. There's a lot of nice parts in here. Look at these. There's a whole lot of little buttons and switches in here on this. Little tiny pieces of chrome that look pretty decent. Uh, looks like an antenna, a lot better than the police car antenna that was on the other one. Uh, our front, definitely, you can read that Plymouth on there. If I take that and uh, hit it with the uh, uh, panel liner, that'll show up like crazy. Uh, again, I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like, so we're going to have to dig in just to make sure that you know it's supposed to be the right color. Uh, it is supposed to be chrome, and it's not like a gold tone or something like that that they used to do back then. The hubcaps are sweet. This one's got a little, nope, that was just a little bit of dust on it. But they are good. They're not over-chromed. They're not too bright. Panel liner inside there will bring out a whole lot of detail. So this is really cool. Yeah, check it out. There's your transmit or your... Uh, uh, Pernondal. <laughs> it's push button transmission. I thought this car had that. And I'm pretty sure that someone when I was growing up had push button transmission in our family or, uh, or somebody that we knew had it. Because I think I can remember that growing up. I'm not going to pull the glass out, but it does look really good. Both window front and back side windows. Um, geez, we could get some Tamiya smoke out and smoke this thing up and make it look like a hot rodder if we wanted to. But it looks good. You probably can't really see it very well with the glare from the bag. But I'm going to leave it in the bag because I don't want it to get scratched up. And now, let's bring over this huge chunk of styrene. This thing's heavy. And styrene, can you imagine what it would have been like as a car? We'll have to look up and see what the uh, the curb weight was for this thing. <laughs> I always love that. Yeah, two-door weighs 9,000 pounds. <laughs> so we're going to pull it. Oh, that came apart really nice. Wow. All right. Right off the bat, look at the roof line on, or the... Uh, interior roof on this. It is awesomely done. We got a couple of little rings, but those won't be hard to clear out. These look like they would be lights. 
Maybe I can tuck a light in here, an LED, drill that in just a little bit and trench it and get LEDs to shine inside. But boy, oh boy, there is some good detail in that. Sorry about that, that just jumped out at me when I pulled the chassis off. Undercarriage is great. Thank you very much, Round 2 Models, for not having all kinds of freaking writing in here we gotta sand out. I hate that. <laughs> this looks awesome. Nice, I mean, really nice. There isn't a pin mark or an extruder mark on this. The inside, we got a few of them here, but not bad. You know, like the seat's gonna be here anyhow. Up front here, you're already past where your eye's gonna even see. We'll sand these down a little bit. I'll come in here with the knife and etch it up. I'm not, I haven't done any flocking and I don't think I'm going to, but I do like to make them look good and there's good carpet texture in here already. And with a couple of minutes of paint and uh, some time, we can make this look really good. It's got the rubber floor mats in. They must have paid extra because they got all four of them. <laughs> Very nicely done. Again, not a lot of flash. A little bit of, you know, a little bit of mold where it came out. We can deal with that. We got to sand it down anyhow to get it all ready to fit. So I'm liking this a lot. And here is our Plymouth. Nice. It says Belvedere on the side here and pretty prominent. Um, I got some bare metal foil. Uh, I gotta say right off the rip, I wouldn't recommend buying bare metal foil off of Amazon because my brand new sheet, and I don't badmouth anybody, but my brand new sheet in an envelope that was this big, way bigger than the sheet of that it, this is in, this was folded in half in there. So, I'm pretty ticked off about that. But what I'll do is I'm gonna use this. I got a, uh, a buddy, that, that real good guy that I'm gonna do his car in bare metal foil and do all his trim for him. And what I have left over, you know, I'll cut this section out. And what I have left over, I think I wanna try doing the scripts where you put the bare metal foil around it, sand it in, or burnish it in real good and then paint over it um, and then wipe it off with a little bit of thinner until it shows up real nice. I want to give that a try. Um, this looks so nice. We have little marks on the side and just a tiny bit of flash. Um, not bad though. Not bad at all. I like this color. This card looks pretty sharp and a tan. I don't know, we'll see. It sure, it sure would look cool if we split the two-tone right here too. You know, I've seen them where the roof is one color and everything else, and I know how this is supposed to look, but I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of in a mood to do something different. But this is a very nice mold on here, and it's thick. This, there's some, geez, oh Pete, I thought that was heavy. This is awfully thick styrene on here. I mean, really thick on these on these panels. If this thing is twisted, nope, it's flat, thank God, because if it was, you would never get it to straighten out. <laughs> it, 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 it is. There's a lot of thick, you know, it, it's really over molded, but it's in decent shape and it looks good. It, it, it's not jumping out at you. They got this texture inside on the on the trim to where if you did the bare metal foil, I think if I bare metal foiled this whole thing in here and when I burnished it out with the little texture in here, it would give it that different color. It wouldn't show it up as the, the big bright chrome like it will on the on the smooth parts. So we'll probably bare metal foil this out figure out what we're gonna do with paint. Um, boy, oh boy, the mold lines are hardly there. These will be easy. This one's a little bigger, but these will be easy to deal with. Really easy. They drop them right down in the door panels too. So we'll take care of that, no problem. 
We'll do a super detail on the engine. I'm gonna have to cut this trunk open. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I hate doing that. But I'm gonna have to cut the trunk open so that I can get the uh, uh, little battery inside there. Like I said, we are gonna light it, at least the headlights. I'm not sure if, uh, I didn't see any rear lights for the back. So, but we'll at least get high and low beams in there. And maybe I'll even run a couple of resistors so we get a differential between the high and the low beams. But for right now, I'm happy. I'm gonna put the rest of this back in the box. We're gonna, we're gonna put this box to the side because like I said, I got like four of them that I wanna get done this winter on top of the Texaco station. So let me put this away. I'll let you go. You guys all have a great day and a better tomorrow. And thank you very much for watching.